in the 1880s, there were a series of mysterious deaths at this estate. 140 years down the line, they were put down to an extramarital affair between Mr. Shortreed and Mrs. Atherton, supposedly led to a string of suicides. The 10th of August, 1880, around 5 p.m., a body was found floating in a well. The body was recovered by Francis Atherton, a stone mason who also lived on the estate. That body would belong to Susanna McIntosh. But who was she, and why was her body there? She would become the wife of Thomas Shortrade in Marylebone, London, April 1861. Susanna already had a child from a previous relationship, but that soon became four children, as she would have three with Thomas. Susanna was involved with the British Women's Temperance Association, and she took part in the Industrial and Fine Arts Exhibition in 1873 to raise funds for the infirmary and dispensary at Wigan. That's when, on the 10th of August, 1880, Susanna sent her grown-up daughters into Wigan at 3 p.m. Around then, that's when Susanna had a conversation with her maid, Mary Hitchin, told her she would continue the conversation after her walk. Two hours later, Susanna's body was found. The unofficial tale is that Susanna took her own life upon the discovery of her husband's affair with Elizabeth Atherton, the wife of Francis Atherton. But also, she had suffered from melancholia for some months. The next mysterious death would be of Elizabeth Atherton. She was overcome with guilt and hanged herself, allegedly. The 4th of August, 1885, Thomas had seriously injured his leg in a riding accident after an extended period of recuperation in North Wales. That afternoon, a maid discovered Thomas's body lying half inside a closet after hearing a single shot. He was in an outbuilding shooting some rats. A doctor suggested that Thomas's stiff knee could have caused him to slip going up some steps and the tumbling gun had gone off. But for some good news, the little boy Susanna left in Cambridge and was sent to a boarding school. He won a scholarship and studied for his BA and MA degrees at Oxford and became a schoolmaster. Again, these are just allegations. So what truly happened inside the estate, we may never know.